Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks who are dealing with a Leo romantically. So welcome to my channel. This is a timeless tarot reading, so there's no specific date and time attached to it. Just whenever you click into this video is when you are meant to hear the messages. But I always like to remind you, Leo, that it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. You are more than welcome to take what works and just leave anything that really doesn't fit for you and your circumstances. Now, I also like to say hello to those of you who are new to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. I am a very proud Leo son. I identify with being a Leo, and so I decided to start this channel, and all that I do on this channel is readings for the sign of Leo. So if you are a Leo, you have come to the right place. Welcome home. Welcome to our amazing community. Feel free to stick around, say hello, all that good stuff. And of course, for those of you who are returning, you know I love you guys so much. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos and you are very welcome home, my darlings, okay? So we're gonna jump in. I'm gonna start today by getting some overarching energy for you. So I'm just gonna pull some tarot cards to kind of get general messages and then we're gonna dig into it and we're gonna clarify. So please give me some overall messages for Leo when it comes to love right now. What have we got for Leo? Ooh, I like it. First card out, we got the High Priestess energy. I don't know why, you guys, I'm getting some sexy vibes off of that. <laughs> I think it's because with like the High Priestess, there's usually like a deep soul connection between you and somebody, almost as if you can like read each other's minds. There's a really strong chemistry and connection. Okay, I'm getting some good vibes there. Let's see where this goes, let's see. What else have we got for Leo? Nine of Wands, Resilience, Persevering. There could be a situation that is making you feel tested right now, but you're, you're resilient. You're working through it. Okay, all right, what else? Two of Wands, which way do I go? Do I go this way? Do I go that way? You could have some sort of choice or decision here as you're planning for the future. So let's see where this takes us. We're gonna dig into clarifying. First things first, tell me about this high priestess energy, please. What do we got? Page of Pentacles, somebody's coming in with an offer or gift. Be um, it could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, they've got something to give you, something to say to you. All right, what else? Ace of Swords, it's a brand new beginning. This could definitely be a new offer of love. Somebody has had clarity about the connection with you. The Ace of Swords is like an aha moment, an epiphany, where you're like, this is what I want. And I feel like somebody is coming in and confessing that to you. What else? What else? Four of Pentacles, they're never gonna let you go. This is somebody who knows what they have when they have it, and they will not take you for granted. Okay, interesting. So I do feel like somebody here is really into you, Leo. Very clear about the fact that they wanna be with you. You might already be with this person. It could be somebody brand new coming in. So tell me what this Nine of Wands is. What is this Nine of Wands? Four of Wands. I think some of you had a marriage previously or a serious relationship that didn't work out and it really tested you. And now what I'm picking up on is that you're a little bit more cautious when it comes to love because you've had a serious relationship not work out. Some of you may be divorced. Some of you may be in separation. And so you've got this new energy it feels like coming in and you're just like, okay, I want to be smart about this. I want to make sure I'm making good decisions when it comes to love. What else? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, let's take things slow. Let's get to know each other. There's no need to rush. Slow and steady wins the race. What else? Page of Cups, yeah. I really think somebody here is quite actively pursuing you and I think you have an emotional offer on the table. Oh, and you got Frankie on the table. Hi, hello, hello. This is my little Frankie. Um, she was having a little bit of a sleep in this morning. So obviously she's got up now. Hi, good morning. Good morning, I've been up for a while and Frankie likes to sleep in a little bit. So she has come to say hello, hello. Hey baby, hello, are you saying hi to Leo? Are you saying hi and you're saying good morning? 
Are you? Hi. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, if this is your first time to my channel, I have two beautiful cats. This is Frankie. They sometimes like to make appearances in the videos. And hello, good morning. Good morning, sleepyhead. Okay, so these are my cats. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the reading. Like I said, I think somebody here is definitely making like an emotional offer when it comes to love. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Frankie. And so it feels really good. Like somebody is really into you. Um, Okay, so let's clarify the two of wands. Hi, hello, oh, yes, you love, you love Leo. I know, and I love you, I know. Okay, uh, let, let's clarify the two of wands. This is just what we do here. This is what we do in our Leo community. We've been... <laughs> okay. Do you guys wake up like this? Do you guys wake up this happy in the morning? <laughs> This is Frankie first thing. She's like, I had a good sleep. I'm good. I know I'm feeling it. I'm ready to start the day. I'm ready to start the day. So let's clarify the two of wands. Let's see here. What do we got? Fool. There's a lot of stuff here to indicate that there is a brand new beginning in love, right? So yeah, somebody here is, def is definitely saying like, can you take a leap of faith? <laughs> can you take a leap of faith here for me? Page of Swords, they want to talk, they want to get to know you. <laughs> they could be a little affectionate. Oh, hi. Okay, thank you. They've got a lot to say and they're like super curious about you, Leo. Okay. I'm wondering if like the Two of Wands is almost this energy of them having like big plans for you in the future. T give me one more here on the Two of Wands, please. <laughs> kitty cat tail okay what else um and then the eight of cups as well so it's definitely possible that you or your person have recently walked away from something that didn't work um and so yeah it's like that energy of like maybe there was a past relationship that didn't really work out you guys are moving past that like you had a past relationship that didn't work out you're getting over it and the same for them and now you're coming together and it looks like there's a beautiful opportunity for new love because I, yeah, I mean, Ace of Swords, The Fool, Page of Cups, like there is a very emotional offer coming in here and there's a lot of energy to suggest a brand new beginning. So it's looking really good. So for the rest of the reading, let's look at this person who's here for you. Uh, we're gonna look at them, what they're feeling, what kind of actions they're taking towards you. We'll look at the same for you, Leo, as well as some advice and potential outcome. Okay, so your person, yeah, Ten of Wands, it really does kind of look like they've ended some sort of emotionally heavy situation. They're dealing with some emotional baggage from the past, but they're feeling motivated to move forward and have a new beginning. Okay, what else? Seven of Cups, yeah. I don't know. I feel like they've maybe got like a little bit of drama with a past person. And so I do think they're clearing up some sort of situation in their life that has been confusing so that they're not bringing that energy into the connection with you. What else? And then King of Pentacles. Yeah. So they're working. I, I just keep hearing and it's kind of a weird thing. Like they're cleaning up their life. I don't know, Leo, I just say what comes to mind in case it connects with you. But yeah, they're cleaning things up. They're dealing with any drama from the past, any ex drama, any personal issues they need to work on. And they're really working on getting into that like King of Pentacles energy, being stable, being reliable, being secure, all that good stuff. What are they feeling? Oh, okay. They feel like if they don't make a move, it's gonna be a missed opportunity. And they're maybe like a little bit scared that you're not gonna accept their offer. <laughs> Cause they look at you and they're so excited and they're like, I really hope that Leo chooses me. What else, what else? Six of Pentacles. They're bringing this beautiful reciprocity towards you. They have so many feelings for you and they have so much love to give within this connection. What else? And then Wheel of Fortune they feel like it's destiny. They feel like the two of you are meant to be together and they're just so excited to get started on this journey with you. So what actions are they taking toward Leo? <laughs> very romantic, very, very romantic energy. They're coming in, they're making you an offer. They're like, I'm here, Leo, I'm here for you and I love you. Very romantic, definitely a romantic gesture coming in. What else? Five of swords, yeah, again, I don't know. 
there's something in this person's energy that they're walking away. Like you can literally see it, right? Like walking away, somebody walking away from a negative situation. So, and they might tell you what this is, right? But I do think that there is some sort of like negative cycle that they're wrapping up and they're disengaging. Five of Swords is like, you're like, I don't wanna be part of it. I don't wanna be part of the drama. I don't wanna be part of the issues. I'm moving on and I'm moving past that situation. Okay, what else? And then Six of Wands, yeah. I mean, they're coming in to really let you know that they see so much potential within this connection with you. They know that this can be a successful union. Okay, so let's look at you. Let's look at Leo. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> that's too many cards. I dropped like half the deck here. <laughs> okay, tell me about Leo. Tell me about Leo, please. What do we got? Love it. I love when your first card out is your energy. So you're showing up in the King of Wands energy. You're feeling fun, fiery, passionate. You're looking for a passionate connection. Okay, what else? Three of Swords. Okay, you're potentially getting over some heartbreak, cleaning stuff up from uh, past relationships. There's an Oracle deck. Oh, <laughs> Frankie. Um, what is it called? Wisdom of the Oracle, I think. There's an Oracle deck that has a card in it called Clean It Up. And I just keep thinking of that card within this reading. And so, yeah, it's like they're cleaning up stuff that they don't need in their life. You're cleaning up stuff like, hi, hi dealing with past heartbreak, dealing with past issues, letting it go. What else for Leo? Ten of Swords, cleaning it up, wrapping up any sort of past negative beha um, behavior, issues, emotions. Yeah, just um, wrapping up negative cycles and committing to moving forward. So it's kind of interesting because it looks like both you and your person have been doing some work on yourselves to get ready for this relationship. So what is Leo feeling? nine of swords okay you're up in your head about something so i want to say leo right now watch for overthinking you might be a little bit more prone to that right now and when we overthink it can sometimes cause us problems so just watch out for overthinking what else the hermit you've been doing a lot of soul searching a lot of introspection what else the hierophant you're looking for love and commitment yeah that's maybe why you're a little bit anxious as well, because you know that you're looking for that commitment. And so you're taking this very seriously. And I always say, when it comes to a serious romantic commitment, the stakes are pretty high because if you're choosing to spend your life with somebody, you wanna make sure you make the right choice and it can feel anxiety provoking where it's like, I really wanna make sure that I'm picking the right person because the stakes are quite high, okay? So what actions are Leo taking toward this person? What actions? Page of Wands, I love it. You're like, yep, yeah, I'm into you. I'm interested in you. I wanna flirt with you. I'm feeling the vibes. You're feeling them, you're feeling them. Oh, five of cups, Leo, yeah. But this is what I'm talking about with the overthinking. There's a little part of you that's like, I wanna move toward this person with the Page of Wands, but then you have a moment where you're like, wait, 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 wait. Are are they going to disappoint me again? Or not again, like, am I going to get disappointed again because you've been disappointed in past relationships? And so I think with the Five of Cups, it's just you being like a little bit hesitant because you're like, I don't want to end up disappointed in this connection again. I keep saying again. I don't know why I'm saying that, you guys. Is this a past person? <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know why, it's almost like a little bit of a slip, but I keep saying, hi, I keep saying again. So I just wanna throw out, I don't think this is for all of you. <laughs> okay, all right, this is my cat. Um, so my goodness, all right, you guys. Um, give me a second. I, my cat, this cat, Frankie, is obsessed with my head. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's, I don't know. Like she loves to be in my hair. She loves to like um, play with my hair. Sometimes I literally, oh my gosh. I literally wake up in the middle of the night by her playing in my hair. I don't know what it is. I, I, I. <laughs> oh my God. I've never had a cat like this before. <laughs> Okay, you came here for tarot, but really it's just a show that my kitty cat Frankie is putting on. I love you. I love you. Hi. Um, <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> what I was saying, Leo, is that I don't know why I keep saying again. And so I just want to say for some of you, I don't think for all of you, but I do think for some of you, <laughs> maybe the issue is that it, not the issue, but there is a past person here, <laughs> potentially for some of you. Just gonna let this happen. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyone else's cat do this? Anyone else's cat? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Maybe what's going to happen is there's going to be some sort of interruption that comes in in your love life right now as well, Leo. Hi. My goodness. I got stuff to do right now, baby. Okay. So we're going to get, we're going to get into it. We're going to be serious now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a past person who's coming in and offering you love here, but I think you're just scared of potentially being disappointed though, because you've been let down before. So part of you is definitely excited about this connection, but part of you is definitely like a little bit scared because you're like, I don't want to get let down. Okay. What else? What else have we got here? What else? Four of Swords, yeah. So there's like, I feel like there's gonna be moments where you really kind of move toward this person's energy. And then there's gonna be moments where you kind of like withdraw. Maybe you feel like you need a little bit of space. You might even be saying to this person, you know, I can't really, <laughs> I can't really take things quickly. Like, um, and you might have times where you feel like you're pulling back your energy a little bit. And it's about just like being able to ask for what you need in this situation. It's okay to take things slow and to just kind of, you know, let them know this is where I'm at. I can't like jump in and see you five days, seven days a week. I need us to like, just kind of take this slow, get to know each other so that I can feel comfortable with how things are progressing. So what is the advice? What is the advice here? Strength, beautiful. This is your card, Leo. This is your energy here, okay? So it's lovely. Just remember how strong you are, okay? You have such beautiful inner strength. Really tap into that strength and realize how strong you are for everything that you've gone through, okay? What else? Ten of Cups. Focus on what happily ever after looks like for you because get clear. Because get clear. <laughs> right? When you're clear about what you want, you're going to get that coming into your life. So know what that happily ever after looks like so that you can manifest that. What else? What else? Oh my gosh. King of Cups. Focus on the love, right? Focus on the love between the two of you because I think there's some really beautiful emotional connecting happening here with you guys. There she goes. And it feels really good. Okay, so focus on the love. So what is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome? Six of Swords. I like that, right? Both of you guys kind of leaving the past in the past and focusing on each other. Oh, what do we got here? And then the Five of Wands and Justice. You know what came to mind when I pulled these cards was fighting for this relationship, right? Giving it a fair go, because I think there's something really special here to explore. And I saw in your energy, like there could be moments where you pull back a little bit, but I feel like you are ultimately gonna fight for this and that the two of you are gonna kind of fight for each other. And I'm feeling a little bit of protective energy over this relationship and it just feels really good. And so I think you're gonna be bringing things into balance. I think you're gonna be getting to know each other deeper. And if, you know, if things continue to go well with that justice card, this could end up being someone who you marry. But I, I do think like, the way I see you, I don't think you're like just jumping head first into this. I think it's gonna, you're gonna take a little bit of time almost to warm up to this Leo, but then when you do it, it has the potential to be really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed Frankie, give me, <laughs> give me a thumbs up, uh, give us a pause up, I guess. And of course, I wish you guys so much love and happiness and we'll talk again soon. Bye Leo. Yeah.